This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. We're closing in on Christmas. Looks like it could be some wet weather and some active weather. There's a look at our early morning sky cam, a beautiful shot from Gadsden looking at the clear skies with a beautiful star uh, out there in the sky. High pressure is going to keep the day beautiful across central Alabama today. And that will be a nice change from what we have coming ahead of us with an active weather pattern. Right now, we're dealing primarily in the upper atmosphere with a bit of a ridge, a pretty strong ridge at this particular time. And that strong ridge is uh, helping to keep that northwesterly north flow. And the result is that temperatures are pretty nippy this morning. We're down into the 20s across much of central Alabama into the lower 20s across places like Fort Payne and Haleyville as well. Well, I said it's going to be wet, and certainly the five-day precipitation estimates show on the order of um, about uh, two to two and a half inches across much of the southeastern states, including Alabama. So, uh, And, of course, we are in need of the rain, so it's not such a big deal. And right now it looks like on Christmas uh, uh, day, just or the day before Christmas, I should say. This is the day three outlook, and indeed, uh, possibility of thunderstorms in the green area, and uh, no slight risk. But uh, see text down along the southeast Texas coast. Day four, which is actually Christmas Day into the day after Christmas, it looks like we could see the possibility of some thunderstorms that could be severe, and it's going to depend on a number of factors, primarily the track of the storm system, and there's still some uh, doubts even though we're getting closer to the event. All right, we're going to stick with uh, the 06E GFS model run primarily, but we'll supplement it with some other uh, looks, especially at the European. And there's our surface pattern for today, surface high pressure centered over about Mobile, and that is uh, certainly giving good weather over much of the southeastern U.S. as well as a good portion of the central part of the United States. We see one little short wave coming across uh, through the flow on Sunday, and that could be responsible for a bit of showers or light rain. Looks like there's a good possibility that we uh, won't see a great deal because the lower part of the atmosphere uh, looks like it stays dry. Uh, we head out to Monday. This is uh, the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, and another short wave is coming through the flow across uh, the southern Great Lakes area and the Ohio River Valley, and that one is much stronger, so it's expected to help with a surface low that would be over the Ohio River Valley with a bit of a trailing front. So it looks like probably the best chance of rain is going to come Sunday night into the early morning hours of Monday. And by you know noon, this is noon on Monday, we should be seeing the precipitation perhaps uh, at least diminishing, if not ending completely. Now we get our next system. This is the 25th at midday, and there comes the big system, the one that's kind of been on the maps for quite some time, and the GFS suggesting that we're going to see a surface low uh, basically over about Lake Charles. Well, how do the models shape up? Well, indeed, there is a look at the European, and they're pretty close agreement. Uh, it's pretty much not exactly over Lake Charles, but certainly close enough that I would say that the models are in good agreement. All right, let's take some intermediate time so we can follow this system on uh, the 25th. So it looks like perhaps central Alabama will start the day out without rain, but it looks like it will be cloudy and uh, perhaps the rain moving in uh, during the day. All right, let's move on to midnight on uh, the 25th. So this is uh, you know late night on the 25th, and uh, the surface low now uh, in a position oh um, uh, in the vicinity of uh, about Muscle Shoals or uh, northwest Alabama and European. Hey, pretty close agreement. Also in the same position. Uh, so the question is going to be: Is this storm track correct? Because if it is, then it looks like we get into the warm sector, and so we may have to be dealing with the threat of severe weather. Now, the thing about the warm sector is uh, the GFS is suggesting that the instability, this is Cape values as of uh, midnight on Christmas Day, so you know Christmas night, Cape values are highest, of course, along the Gulf Coast. So it looks like this might be another system similar to what we've seen, that uh, the 
greatest instability remains along the Gulf Coast and doesn't work its way into central Alabama. But we will have to watch the track of that storm system to make sure. Now, one of the other concerns we have is what's going to happen with the system as it uh, goes on by. And uh, here's a look at the 26th at midday, and you can see the substantial trough with a closed low is over in the eastern Ohio River Valley. Surface low is now moved up into the uh, pretty much central Appalachians, uh, West Virginia area. But notice the 540 thickness line is down into central Alabama. So it's a situation where we could see the rain end in the form of a rain-snow mixture, or we may even change over to some light snow. Now, remember, I said light snow, okay? Now, what are the possibilities? Well, looking at uh, especially the 850 temperatures, uh, so we can get a look at whether or not we're going to see anything. And this is at uh, 6 a.m. on the 26th. So there's the surface low up over Kentucky, and uh, or pardon me, the 850 low over Kentucky. And you notice that uh, the... Uh, break between yellow and green is the break between at zero um, or freezing. So you see that the cold air at 850, which is uh, you know roughly about 5,000 feet or so, that the cold air has certainly made its way into central Alabama, which means that if the moisture is there, we could see a brief uh, switchover on the 26th to you know some light snow or so snow flurries. Uh, and uh, indeed, uh, the GFS is suggesting that much of the snow is going to be much further north uh, in the vicinity of the uh, Ohio River, basically, with uh, amounts on the order of uh, perhaps as high as about, uh, you know, two to four inches. But you notice that there's not any uh, three-hour snowfall amounts, and this is uh, as of uh, daybreak on the 26th, so you see there's not much. So, Again, flurries a possibility. All right, now let's move on and get back to our regular track here. And uh, certainly after that period, we deserve a break. The 27th, we see a break. Nice ridge over us, but it's a short-lived ridge. The 28th, another short wave is coming out of the Rockies. Uh, this one positioned over about Oklahoma. And so once again, we're seeing the moisture return and uh, with that uh, with that next system so while we'll probably be dry on friday it looks like things will be changing during the day uh, and into the overnight hours and saturday a week from today the weather systems are biased so it looks like uh, we could be uh, sort of out of the woods but the gfs is suggesting that uh, that front is going to be uh, coming our way, uh, or we're going to see some moisture. I, I just am not really buying this uh, this look with uh, kind of wet weather out there. But anyway, uh, that's what the GFS is suggesting. And right now, my forecast for Friday and Saturday is essentially dry because uh, I just doubt that moisture can return. All right, now going out into voodoo country, we have a very interesting pattern on January the 1st, 2013 with uh, a very strong trough over the Great Lakes, but a piece of energy hanging back. And that makes the pattern somewhat uh, complex to deal with. But indeed, it does look you know, relatively mild at that particular point with, a, with a, a slight southwesterly flow over us. And then when we get out, way out into the 1st of 2013, that is the 6th of January, you see that we do have a very deep trough over the western part of the country, and that puts us in a very strong southwesterly flow. So if anything, this looks like perhaps the 1st of January, uh, especially after the first of the month, maybe the first couple of days being a little bit coolish. But after that, it looks like we will be dealing with mild weather once again. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James is on vacation, so uh, you got, you're stuck with me for the next uh, nine days or so. And uh, I'll be posting one a day primarily, but of course, stay tuned to the blog for later updates and other uh, updates as we, as we get into all these weather situations. So I hope that you have a great Saturday and enjoy the dry weather as we're going to get into a wet period. Have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>